Hi and welcome to my new tutorial about Spring Security. I know it's been like two years since my last tutorial, but of course I decided to finish what I started. And in this tutorial I will show you how to perform so-called DAO authentication, which means that uh, our user users' credentials will be stored in database and they'll be pulled from there and used for authentication. And database of our choice is MySQL, which is pretty standard. So let's start. Uh, first thing I want to do is to go to this home controller and clean few things. Let's clean this and this parameter from here. Okay, let's save it and Okay, organize imports. And now I want to add a few dependencies. First dependency I want to add is uh, Spring ORM dependency. So we'll use Hibernate for data access layer or so-called repository layer. Let's copy this and just fix the artifact ID, which will be ORM. Okay. Now let's add a few other dependencies. Okay. Let's paste them. So I added Hibernate. Hibernate will be used. Uh, MySQL connector, of course. And commons dbcp and commons pool for data source. Now let's, let's also uh, do one more thing before we start with uh, definition of our beans. Let's delete this guy, this expression here. Okay, that's it. Now let's define few beans. And first thing I want to define is the so-called property placeholder configurer. Uh, this bean will load our properties file where we are going to store uh, few properties used for data access, Hibernate properties and basic JDBC properties. So let's define this uh, property placeholder configurer. Okay. Let's define a new bean with ID property placeholder configurer. Okay. And with class org spring Framework beans factory config property placeholder con configurer. Hopefully, I didn't miss something. Yeah, this. Okay. And let's define one single property, which is location. Oh, sorry, property. Property. Oops. Okay, location. And location will be so web inf database properties okay that's fine now let's create database properties file in webinf okay and let's define those properties used primarily for data access and yeah first property is jdbc driver class name which will be the name of the driver used to communicate with database sql jdbc driver and next thing will be url which will be jdbc mysql localhost 3206 and name of my database is spring sec 
here. Okay. Uh, next will be CreateDDC username, which is root in my case, password, which is also root. And now I want to define a few Hibernate properties. Uh, first is dialect, uh, which is MySQL 5 dialect. Next one is show SQL. We want to print our statements as they execute. And hbm to ddl auto, which will be update. It means that we are not going to drop our schema every time when we run our uh, when we run our application. Okay, let's go back to oh, what the hell occurs. Okay, uh, let's go back to server context and define a few other beans. Uh, next beam we are going to define is data source beam, which will provide the connection pool for communication with database. Classes. Uh, org Apache Commons DBCP Basic Data Source. And let's also define destroy method, which is close. Okay. Now let's pass those properties we defined in database properties file. Beans property. Uh, first one is driver class name and the value is JDBC driver class name. The second one is URL. And values command JDBC URL. Okay, let's just copy this. Third one is username. Password. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to data source. Now let's, uh, let's define session factory for our Hibernate. Eclipse complaining because beans, not bean. No, it should be fine. Okay, good. Uh, let's define first property, which is data source. No, we don't have this auto completion. And this references to data source. Okay, good. Also, packages to scan where we are going to put our entity, which will be user class. And it will be org Java Spring Security Security Domain. 
that's the name of the package where we are going to put our entity. Uh, now let's define a few hibernate properties. Okay. Yeah, beans, props. Ah, oh, come on. Props. Okay. Beans prop with the key hibernate dialect. And with value. Hibernate, hibernate, dialect. Okay. Uh, let's define the rest of the properties. Let's paste these guys. So this will be show SQL. Show SQL. This one will be HP M to TDL auto. HPM to DDL auto. Okay. And that's it when it comes to our session factory, which will be used by Hibernate. Okay. Now I also want to enable my transaction management in this application. So I'll just say TX annotation driven. And that's it. And next thing I want to do is to define my transaction manager. With ID transaction manager and class will be org spring frame work work rm hibernate for hibernate transaction manager okay and with two properties which is data source and uh, session factory data source uh, which references to data source and session factory which of course references toward our session factory and okay that's it for this part of tutorial see you in next tutorial where i'm going to implement my repository service and show you how everything actually works. See you in next tutorial.